Good afternoon. Thank you for choosing Channel 3 for your news. I'm David Carroll. And I'm Cindy Saxton. A Hamilton County deputy was involved in a crash this morning in Red Bank near the U.S. 27 Dayton Boulevard exit ramp. And we're learning that area sees a high number of crashes each year. Natalie Potts is live from the scene with the latest. Natalie, what can you tell us? Well, David, we learned that this section of Dayton Boulevard sees more than 100 crashes each year, similar to the one that that Hamilton County deputy saw this morning. Tennessee state troopers are looking into a crash involving Hamilton County deputy Jimmy Bowers. Officials say deputy Bowers was driving north on Dayton Boulevard when it happened. It appears he may have been getting off at the Dayton Boulevard exit ramp from US 27, but the crash is still under investigation. No one was hurt, and officials with the Sheriff's Department say both vehicles had slight damage. But we know that the patrol car had to be towed away. Just 24 hours before this crash, Red Bank police worked a similar one. So we wanted to see just how many crashes are investigated here. Records show that Chattanooga and Red Bank police investigated a total of 164 crashes last year to date with 131 of those seeing property damage. 50 people in all were hurt. The year before, 166 crashes and 117 before that. Red Bank Police Chief Tim Crystal says it's a big problem. It's pretty close to every other day. Uh, based, on, based on the numbers that we have of uh, uh, over 160 in the last 365 days, um, we're, we're dealing with a lot of crashes up there. Something has to change and we, we have to educate, continue to educate the public because right now this is the situation that we have. The Dayton Boulevard exit ramp is in Red Bank's jurisdiction right at the city limits. People are getting off there at the Dayton Boulevard exit and are going when they get to the bottom of the ramp, they're attempting a U-turn to go back up to either City Green or to go back up Dayton Boulevard the other way. Chief Crystal says the number of crashes nearly tripled after TDOT's U.S. Highway 27 improvement project when crews eliminated the Whitehall Road exit ramp because it didn't meet design standards. This is it's, it's a very expensive design that created this and until we're able to do something physically to change it, we have to educate the public. We have to let them know this is incredibly dangerous. Now, the police department has increased their patrols, but they simply don't have enough manpower to put someone down here full time. The chief says that he will continue to look for solutions. Reporting live in Red Bank, Natalie Potts, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. We also contacted Jennifer Flynn, spokesperson for TDOT. She tells us since the project was paid for using 80% federal funds, the Federal Highway Administration wouldn't let TDOT have a ramp that didn't meet standards. She will, she has promised to look into whether or not there's any room for improvement. 